<laughs> the shadow knows. <laughs> Hopefully you had a restful Labor Day. Welcome back. So this week we are going to be adding shadow effects in Photoshop. So shut it. So keep in mind, keep it simple. And I already have the material that I posted for you below. I'm working on the video now, that's why I get out of there. So if you notice on my desktop, I have the material. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. Now, every week we're going to get more and more comfortable and more familiar with what we're doing. Okay. So a lot of the times you're going to be like, oh, it's so new. So keep that in mind. This is good practice. All right. So if you notice, I have some recent stuff. So I'm going to go file, open recent, clear recent file. Okay. New file, canvas size. 15 by 15 inches, 72 resolutions, RGB color, 8-bit, white, create. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is go open. Start with the background. Let's keep it simple today, okay? So I'm going to use this background. If you notice, it's a little bit tiny. Let's see how big it is. Control A, Control C, Control V, Control T. In this case, I don't normally like doing this, but I know that I can press this file because everyone was using it last year. And so I could just put it here or I could also extend out the points like so. Okay. Now keep in mind, there's a wall and a floor. This tree is casting a shadow on both. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right. So I don't need this background layer, so I could delete it. I could close the wall. I don't need that. Now what I need is my subject matter. So this week I did provide some just to get you into the demo so then you don't have to do all the selection tool again. So let's do Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to press Control A, Control C, Control V. Notice I did the work. I've already selected it for you. Just keep that in mind. All right. So just like before, now I'm going to move them into position. So right about here. Okay. So if you notice, if I select my layer, see how I'm able to click on them. Now to make two layers of the same exact thing, I'm going to click and hold this and drag this down to the plus sign. So now I got two of them. Okay. If you want to label them, you could click on this little part here where it says layer two, double click it and you can put Mickey. You go up here, double click this one and post shadow. Okay. Notice I clicked off. I could click back on it. So I got Mickey. Now keep in mind, keep it simple. So this is an image file. So if I'm going to do any, anything to the image, I'm going to go to image mode. You're really not going to change that for a while. So I'm going to go to adjustments. Now in adjustments, take a look around. You could make it brighter, contrast, levels, curves, exposures. We're going to play with that throughout the week. The very first thing that I want to do is I want to go to hue saturation. Okay. So hue is the different hues. So if you want to change Mickey Mouse's color, you could change this little slider. Saturation means how much color. So if I want to make it black and white, I could do it there or here. There's also another tool in there for black and white. Right there is okay, but there's a better one. Lightness and darkness. Remember, your shadows are black, basically. So what I want to do is make it black, or I'm going to make it white. So I'm going to make it black and press OK. So right there, I got my shadow. Looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is you've learned that with Control-T, you could transform it, but there's a better way to put the shadow in perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, Perspective Warp. It's a... Uh, one, two, three, four. It's about four boxes down. Perspective warp. If you notice, layout. You want to lay out your warp first before you warp it. Okay. Check mark, of course. So what I want to do is I want to put this over Mickey to where the wall is right here. Okay. Notice the points are white because I'm still in layout mode. So with that, I can now make another layout below it. Pull those points up to there. And I could still adjust this. Just keep in mind, until you press warp, you could adjust this 
really make it tighter. Maybe you want it like really tight on them for whatever reason. Don't know why you would. You could right there. Okay. Right there. Boom. Okay, that looked pretty sharp. Now when I press warp, watch the points. So up here I gotta press warp. Now I could warp it, okay? But I don't want to do that yet. Actually I do. I don't. I do. I don't. So what I want to do is actually drop the shadow below Mickey. Okay. Notice I'm still selecting the shadow layer, okay? So what I'm going to do is do the perspective warp again. This way you can see what we're doing. Right there. Put it underneath Mickey. Right there. Now go warp. Okay, so now when I do this, keep in mind, the sun is shining from this direction, so the shadow is going this side. So what I want to do is just go along the, the wall there. Make sure these points are still in perspective. Okay. It's subtle because he's really close to the wall. See, if I if I made it go further away, it would mean that he was further from the wall. But he's pretty close to the wall. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so right about there. Bring that point down. Bring that point down. Just like Peter Pan, the shadow has to connect at the feet. So if I want to, I could bring that back or I could do that. Right here is fine. And I'll show you why. Now we're going to hit the check mark or press enter. Okay. I'm still in the shadow. So we just need to do uh, some other adjustments, but not underneath the adjustments. We want to go to filter. Filter is where we're going to start playing with it. So I'm going to go to blur. 99% of what you're going to do in multimedia one is the Gaussian blur. So when I go Gaussian blur, notice how it does a radial all around blur. So I'm going to bring that down to probably about six. Okay. I'm going to press okay. Now up here with opacity, this is how much of the layer you could see. So you don't want to see it at all gone 100% so I want to just bring that down to right about I'm kind of matching this one so I kind of want to do it where it's kind of at 64 okay then I press enter now with that when I click off of it Mickey's got a shadow it looks like he's there everything looks good there's the light source is coming from here everything's good I'm going to go layer Flatten image, file save as, on your computer, desktop, put your name, and the title, Mickey's, Mickey's Shadow. Remember, you can't do asterisks or any special characters when you're naming them, okay? I'm going to press save. Ta-da! I will also attach uh, the selection tool demo that we did last week, so you guys have that. All right, have a good one.